Executive has been sacked for gross misconduct following allegations about her behaviour after the Wales-Georgia game at the Rugby World Cup last weekend. It's understood Linos Griffin-Williams was in Nantes in her role as Chief Content Officer for the channel. At an event after the game, she's alleged to have verbally abused the Wales rugby star Mike Phillips, who's been part of the S4C, S4C team providing coverage of the Rugby World Cup along with others. Gwyn Loder is the Chief Correspondent for Number the Young S4C. Um, Gwyn, just what's gone on here? What do we know? Sinos Griffin-Williams was one of S4C's most senior executives, also one of the highest paid executives there, earning a salary of £124,000 for the last financial year. But as you say, Lucy, she's now been sacked for gross misconduct. Now, we understand that's for behaviour de deemed inappropriate in Nantes, as you say, at two locations after Wales's victory against Georgia at the Rugby World Cup. She was attending that game as part of a job at S4C. Now, it's understood she verbally abused former Wales international Mike Phillips, former scrum half, of course, when 94 caps for Wales is now part of the S4C coverage. She's alleged to have told him that his Welsh wasn't good enough and also that she could end his career. We've also been told by sources that she threatened members of the Whisper production team, that's the company who uh, are responsible for the production of S4C's coverage of the World Cup, regarding how much work they could expect from the Welsh language broadcaster in future. Now, I have tried to speak to Finos Griffin-Williams about all this. I've been told she's unavailable. OK. And, Gwyn, I understand there's been a further development within the past hour... Yes, around 6 o'clock this evening, an email has been, sent, has been sent to all S4C staff members telling them that the chief executive, Sean Doyle, is now away from her work on a period of sickness. Um, so she's away from her work. Two executives are now responsible for her duties. But obviously, Lucy, it's a deeply troubling and difficult period at the Welsh language broadcaster. Chief Correspondent Gwyn Loder, thank you very much.